looks state of the art, but this is our brand new Python facility. Um, and it has yet to be finished with hardware cloth that'll go around the outside, so you won't be able to see in. Uh, we are at the edge of the facility because I think they're, they would like us to not be front and center, you know, for University of Florida. But we do, within this shed, um, we'll, we'll walk in and you'll see two freezers and that's where a lot of our specimens end up for the time being until we get them subsampled. We, we subsample them both here as well as up in a lab in Gainesville. So this, you can drive a truck in here, which is pretty, pretty important for us as we load up animals to go back in the field or, um, you know, one individual weighing 164 pounds is a lot to truck back and forth. Um, so it's nice that we can drive in here. We get a lot of samples from many, many pythons and we retain a tail, so a little chunk of the tail. Um, we take a sliver of muscle, like a full sliver, full slice of it. I mean, they're so healthy. It's striking. Um, I haven't seen one that's in poor condition in a very long time. I started a pilot study using a GPS tag, something similar to this, um, to really try to increase the number of locations we got. We schedule the data collection to be four times a second in each of the three dimensions. So you can tell if it's pitching, yawing, rolling, stopping, lurching forward. We start to think that, hey, we can use this tool to determine how many times an individual might feed in a month or two or three months, which is key information as we go forward to say, what's the impact on the environment? In some ways, using animals to find other animals. So we're walking in on them, not only to get a sense of what habitat they're using and where they are and a, and a GPS location, but we're also trying to see if other individuals are associating with that radio tagged individual. We call that a Judas snake protocol because it's one animal leading you to his, you know, he's kind of sharing that location of his con specific. We have some where we were radio tracking one particular snake, I remember, and there was someone with us from the AP and he was very nervous about alligators. And we're like, oh, don't worry about it. Well, we got to the location of the radio tagged animal and we were in a room, or in an area this size, you know, the water was maybe up to, past my waist, but for the guys it was like to here. And, uh, this gator was near us, and he, every python has two, two radio tags in it. So there's two signals we're looking for. We kind of go back and forth between the two frequencies as we're tracking it. And the gator started moving away, and the signal started moving away. He had one half of the python in him. 